Theft by embezzlement is a particularly damaging form of theft that can set a business back by millions of dollars. While some thieves make a quick grab for a significant sum of money from their employer, others prefer to take their time and play the long game. In these kinds of situations, the person responsible takes money out of their account gradually, perhaps over the course of a decade. An embezzlement scheme is usually carried out by a company employee who steals a small amount of money from their employer over time. This is usually done for a specific reason, such as an upcoming payment for which the employee does not have immediate funds. They accomplish this by withdrawing money from their account and promising themselves that they will repay it later. When funds are misappropriated and the theft is not discovered, they see how easy it is and then it always snowballs into what it eventually becomes. These types of embezzlement schemes can result in significant losses over a long period of time, and that is exactly the case of today's story. Kayla Figelski, a Malden woman, was sentenced for stealing nearly $800,000 from her employer. Welcome to the latest edition of Fraud Files. Watch the video in its entirety so that you don't miss any of the important elements that are included. In addition to that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Without further ado, let's get the ball rolling. In Boston, Massachusetts, a lady from Malden was found guilty of stealing more than $795,000 from her workplace and was sentenced in federal court on counts related to fraud and identity theft. The chief judge of the United States District Court, F. Dennis Saylor IV, handed down a sentence of three years in prison and two years of supervised release to Kayla Figelski, who is 34 years old. In addition, the judge ordered Figelski to make restitution in the amount of $796,747. In May of 2021, Figelski entered a guilty plea to eight charges, including seven counts of bank fraud and one count of aggravated identity theft. Between April 2017 and June 2019, Begelski stole at least $796,747 from her employer, an attorney specializing in elder law in the city of Malden. Begelski was able to carry out the scheme by forging checks that were drawn on the checking accounts of her employer. These checking accounts included conservatorship, trust, and estate administration accounts that she maintained for the elderly clients of the firm and their estate. Begelski put the checks into her personal bank account, and then she took the money out of that account to cash or withdraw the checks. By manipulating the bank statements, Figelski was able to conceal her ruse and make it look as though the checks were sent to real businesses. The thievery committed by Figelski resulted in her employer being forced to sell the building in which her law firm was housed. The victim's family had owned the property since 1976. Both the United States Attorney for District of Massachusetts, Rachel S. Rollins, and Joseph R. Bonavolota special agent in charge of the Boston Division of the Federal Bureau of Investigation made the news. The support offered by the Malden Police Department was quite helpful. Kristen A. Kearney, an assistant United States attorney with Rollins Securities Financial and Cyber Fraud Unit, was the one in charge of the case's prosecution. The investigators claimed that she hid the fraud by tampering with her bank statements to make it appear as though the checks were sent to legal businesses. She confessed to the investigator that ever since she was in a vehicle accident in 2007, she had been taking prescription painkillers on and off, and that she had used the money she received from the settlements to purchase drugs. She entered a guilty plea to charges of bank fraud and aggravated identity theft in May of 2021. Now today's episode of Fraud Files comes to a close with a discussion of Kayla Figelski, a woman from Malden who was found guilty of stealing almost $800,000 from her employer and received a sentence for her crime. It's so sad to see a young woman like Figelski place such a dark stain on the rest of her life just for some cash. We sincerely hope that watching the video was enjoyable for you. If this is the case, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. You can ensure that you are updated with all of the incredible videos that are uploaded to our channel by clicking the bell icon. Don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts on this event and what you think about it. We hope to see you in the following episode of Fraud Files. Maintain your status as a law-abiding citizen until that time, please.